Living Single was the number one black sitcom on air when it was abruptly canceled in the middle of the fifth season. When Kyle, played by T.C. Carson, was shipped off to London, many fans did not know he had actually been fired. T.C. was a no-show from the 108th episode to the 117th. The Chicago native insinuated that the creative difference between him and the producers of Living Single was the reason behind his sudden exit from the show. Speaking on the issue, he said, I feel that sometimes people believe that in order to get ahead, you have to adopt another culture's aesthetic. You have to adopt another culture's way of being. And I don't think that you do. When asked why he was leaving, he stated that he was a little too black and a little too strong. When the cast would have issues about scripts and treatment, he would serve as the spokesperson for the group. Many fans loved Kyle for his smooth, deep voice, charm, and wittiness. Being the gentleman that he is, TC agreed to reprise his role in the finale, giving fans a mild sense of closure. A uh, number one black show when we went off the air. They took us off. We didn't even finish the last season. We, they took us off like around uh, Christmas or something, halfway through. And then they ran our repeats, and our repeats were still number one for the rest of the year. Nobody even, you know, people just tuned in at Thursday. Is friends still rolling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think. Kim Victoria Fields is an American actress and television director. Fields is known for her roles as Dorothy Tootie Ramsey on the NBC sitcom The Facts of Life and as Regine Hunter on the Fox sitcom Living Single. Many fans were shocked to see Regine wrote out of the show before the season finale. Um, and then my farewell episode. My farewell episode really meant a lot because uh, everyone really had a, a, just an enormous amount, I felt an enormous amount of respect for, you know. Reportedly, Regine left Living Single to resurrect her music career. Fields began performing rap music and R&B with a group called Impromptu. She also moved behind the camera to become a director. Fields directed a number of episodes of the All That spinoff with Kenan and Kel. I would have drew blood out of people. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so we got the restraint. Yeah, she Kim did. Fields she was Atlanta. restraining herself. She was behaving. She yes. could have verbally ripped people out the frame. <laughs> Kim always had a strong personality. So when it was time to jump ship, nobody could stop her. These days, Kim is rumored to be worth over $8 million and have been featured on The Real Housewives of Atlanta and Dancing with the Stars. Well, I'll start with check, check, check it out. Ready? And check, 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 check it out. Check, 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 check it out. Come on, come on. We are living hey, single. Come on, come on. Thank you for tuning in to Alert Culture. Be sure to drop by for more episodes. Hit that like button. Also, drop me some comments and let me know what other topics you'd like me to cover. Thank you. Have a great day.